Okay, so Maron, a bunch of people, uh, they're wondering why you would want to learn to program. And for us, it's been a, it's a great joy. We've had a whole bunch of fun ourselves learning and maybe be useful to say what was so enjoyable for us. That'd be a good call because it is a fun time and you should experience this class as a source of joy and a source of fun. So uh, maybe I can get started. You know, like, why did I find computer science to be such a fun thing to study? Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of reasons, but for me, definitely one of the big calls was it's just fun to make stuff. You know, as a little kid, I used to like to make sandcastles and that was a good time. Uh, and then it became older and I was wondering how can I do that professionally? I think coding might be the closest you can be to be a professional sandcastle builder. You just create, I like, I can go from an idea that I would like to be able to turn into something real. And then I could manifest that, make something and then like show it to my mom and be like, Hey mom, look what I made. Um, I've really enjoyed this as I've grown older. What I learned to code, I was kind of like learning this fundamental skill. And as I changed, I would be interested in different things. Uh, at times I was interested in animations and making beautiful movies. At different time, I was interested in education and how we could help people learn. And as my interests grew, coding came along. I feel like it's just a great opportunity for interdisciplinary thinking. So you can be passionate about all sorts of wonderful things. And I'm sure out of the people in our class, they're passionate about every type of different hobby in this world. And no matter what you're passionate about, you can combine that passion with programming. Um, so that's something I always enjoyed. Uh, I actually think I might have heard this from you, but uh, I think it's true. You know, there is a sense of real magic uh, when you make something that you're proud of in programming. And it might be the closest to magic that, that we can achieve with the technology of the day. Um, of course, one of the things you'll learn in a class like this is it's not really magic. You're going to learn how to make all of these things, but other people can really feel magical when they interact, uh, and especially if they've never programmed before. Uh, and this is another one. It's a pretty amazing time to be learning to program. You know, I, uh, I was once in a class that you taught, Maron, and, and, and you had this story about what would it be like to be learning math at the time, you know, when folks were inventing those core algorithms, like it must be so electrifying to be uh, living and thinking about things at the moment when people didn't know all the answers and they were just creating the future. And you said that it really feels like that for our field at this moment, like people are creating the future of what computing is able to uh, do. And what a great moment to be jumping into that field. Uh, and, you know, I brought up a picture of a self-driving car there, but I think both of us are pretty passionate about community service things. That's why we're teaching a free class. Uh, and it's worth noting that it's it's not just about coming up with cool math derivations and cool algorithms. Sometimes you can really have some big impact. You know, I, I, I think about people who are doing things in medicine, like coming up with new algorithms to help folks detect if they have problems, maybe using just a cell phone. And I think how exciting it must be to be a young student who can learn a new field and then do something meaningful for their community. And so I think there's lots of things that you know, you'll get out of this course. As Chris kind of talked about, it's this notion of magic and it's the time that you're doing it. And you know, it's the way I always think about it is imagine you're a geometer living in the time of Euclid, right? I mean, yeah. that's what computing's like right now, right? It's just really exciting. And in addition to being able to build stuff and experience that magic, there's also something that you get from learning how to program, which is a real clarity of thinking. If you want to be able to write an algorithm to have a computer program do something, you have to specify that so clearly that there's no ambiguity at all. The computer can just go step by step and execute it, because that's really all the computer is doing, even if it looks magical. And so part of that is really thinking about how do you solve problems and take big problems and break them up into smaller problems. And that's a super useful skill to have, not just in programming, but in life. And so a lot of the thinking that you do and analysis you do as part of programming are things that are actually broader concepts when you think about how to be clear about specifying something, how to take a big problem and break it down into smaller problems to solve it. And ultimately what these things are giving you is a greater understanding of technology. 
And that's one of the things that we hope that you take away from this class is because this is a time when many things are happening in the field of computing. Clearly, artificial intelligence is taking off. We see work in robotics. And here's an example from Stanford, a robot called Ocean One. There's lots of work in things like medical diagnosis and healthcare that are taking place. And sometimes that can seem a little mysterious. And sometimes when things seem mysterious, they also seem daunting. And so part of having this class is to help you understand technology and help you understand programming so you understand that these things aren't actually magic. There are things that you can understand and you can build yourself, and that's hugely empowering. So we want to take you on that journey of empowerment with us. Yeah, uh, I couldn't have said it better myself, Miran. Uh, you know, it's a really exciting time. I've probably never had more fun programming than I'm having these days, uh, even though I've been at it for decades. And, you know, and maybe it's also worth noting at this point that this is an incredible journey you're going to go on. You're going to learn new ways of thinking. You're going to be able to do fantastic things. But it's not necessarily easy. <laughs> Learning to program is a very difficult thing. Learning a new way of thinking is going to take a lot of effort. Maybe it's also worth noting at the end of this little segment that, you know, we've been teaching for a long time. And one of the things that we know from teaching a long time is everyone finds it hard. You might think you're the only one who's finding it hard to like have clarity of thought, like Maron said, um, or to be able to solve a complicated problem uh, in, in the elegant language that is programming. But the truth is everyone finds it difficult. So there's a lot to be gained uh, if you're willing to put in the work and the effort. That's absolutely true. We both found it difficult when we started, but that doesn't mean we couldn't, that didn't stop us from going to where we want to go. And that's the same thing we have for you. So in those times when you feel like, well, I'm putting on a lot of work, realize that part of what you're also putting in is the ability to learn. And the more that you actually engage with the material, even when it's hard, what that means, your brain's really working and you're learning this stuff even better. Yeah. Um, you know, it does kind of remind me of, I've read a lot of studies that show that people who had learned how to program, also they start to do better in their other subjects too, you know, like better at ability to learn math, better ability to write. It just seems like it helps us approach all sorts of facets of life with a new, new perspective.